What's up, guys? It's me. It's your boy Zeldon. Here with a headache for you today. So I spent the last few hours today, and uh, I wish I could take the time to like make a bunch of nice-looking graphs and all this stuff for you guys, but we're just going to wing it here because that's how we do it around here. But I spent, a, I spent the time today uh, comparing a lot of the stats and the, the information in the game that you get some a lot of the information in the game isn't exactly correct and uh i just wanted to find out like what is actually the best stuff to get like what is the what are the best stats to go for what's the most efficient way to to build your character and uh i come to the conclusion let's let's just go to the tldr right off the bat in case anyone doesn't want to watch the whole video um for red gems you want stamina Stamina first, then flat HP, and then if you really just have, have no way to buy any HP or stamina gems, I guess you can use PDEF or physical or magical defense gems, but those aren't very useful overall. Um, for yellow gems, at least for healers, for healers you want to go for attack first. I, I'm assuming also for for DPSers and everything else as well. And uh, blue gems, crit. 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 That's that's basically the gist of it, TLDR. But, yeah. Let's get into the numbers, in case you're curious. So, first of all, I went comparing stam the stamina gems to the flat HP gems. So, a level 40... or uh, level 3... Stamina gem gives you 45 stamina, which comes out to 855 HP. It's all around flat, a flat 19 HP per stamina. A level 3 uh, HP gem gives you 900 HP, which is 45 HP more, but also the stamina gives you out of combat HP regen and tenacity. From tenacity, you seem to get about, like I'm not sure on 100% how much stamina you need for every uh 10 ten tenacity but it seems to be around 40 or 50 stamina per tenacity tenacity if you're not sure what that is is a stat that basically reduces uh the crit damage you take so it gives you a small chance to like mitigate some crit damage basically and then also stamina does give you some block from my testing, my block stayed at 3.8% the whole time, no matter what my stamina changed to, so it doesn't give you that much block. Um, I'm, I'm going to just throw a wild guess out there. Maybe 100 block or 100 stamina equals 10.1% uh, block. Maybe. I'm not really sure. But yeah, you get all these extra benefits to having stamina. And if you do an HP gem, you just get 45 HP more. So I think stamina is the, the red gem to go for. Wait, stamina red? Yellow. No, yellow. <laughs> the yellow gem to go for. Stamina, then HP. Um, now down here is where we, and actually this is where we're actually doing it right now, doing the, the defense testing. So I went and reduced my defense. I unequipped some gems to compare the differences between how much damage I've been taking with the gems on, and so on. And long story short on that one, it's not really worth using defense, physical defense or magical defense. If the gems were magical and physical defense combined, then it would be worth it. But, but since you, and I, I'm, maybe for tanks it might be worth it, Anyway, but I think overall, stacking HP is just way better. Because HP basically gives you both... I mean, if it, it affects both physical and magical, right? Magic damage takes from your HP. Physical damage takes from your HP. So basically, with HP and stamina gems, you cover both... Cover your bases on both sides, magic and physical. So instead of wasting a slot on on magic and f physical defense i mean you can cover both with a stamina and or hp gem so 
I want to say physical and magical defense you probably should avoid. Even as a tank, I would say you'd probably still want to have stamina gems as a tank because that's, you know, block and tenacity is is probably going to be even more important for a tank. Um, but just take, just keep in mind that this is from a healer's perspective. I, I don't know. I don't. I'll, I'll probably do some testing as a tank later on and see what's better. If if maybe maybe the the stats maybe the uh, defense stats actually do more for a tank but yeah also also one thing i do want to point out is okay i did the i did this testing on two different enemies here so i did this water guy and the magic defense gems did not do have any effect on this guy's basic attacks only the physical defense uh, gems had had an effect i actually did not find anything in my testing that benefit from magical defense so i'm assuming maybe magical defense is only for like very specific um boss abilities and pvp but yeah as far as i can see magic defense does not play a huge role in this game so i would go for if if you don't have the stamina and hp gems go for physical defense magical defense doesn't seem very great at all to be honest um so yeah i tested on this guy and then i tested on this harpy where was that at is that in the next video in a different video yeah i think it's in the next video so i tested on this harpy which um I would say this appears, this lightning attack, you would think is magic damage, right? But no, it's physical damage. Magical defense gems did nothing against that. The physical de defense did reduce it. But again, um, it's, it's not by a whole lot. You'd be better off just going with some stamina or HP. Okay, moving on from yellow gems. That was all the yellow gem stuff. Um attack and intelligence that's all i'm gonna cover with with this because i'm playing a healer and i can't really couldn't really go and test the the effects of intelligence and attack for other stuff but from what i could see attack is actually better slightly better than intelligence um let's skip to the, the attack video oh wait wait, wait wait this is an important one too so I, I tested against this guy. This is, this is what made me decide that HP is better. So, with all my uh, physical, physical uh, defense stuff equipped, I still got one shot, sixty-five k HP there. And then, let's move forward. And then this one with them, without them equipped, it was still sixty-six nine eighty. So. The physical defense only reduced the damage by... Did I write this down in here? I think I did. Or maybe I did not. But uh, the physical damage only reduced... Uh, the physical defense only reduced the damage by... 50, like, okay, let me let me actually pull up the calculator again. I should have written, written this down. So this was 66,980. And then this was 65,415. 66980 minus I think I did this in the video, but okay, so 15 1565. And like you can get that's with um I had a, a level three physical defense and a level two physical defense gem. And it only reduced it by this much. So if I if I had a level two stamina and a level three stamina gem or for example, a level 2 HP gem and a level 3 HP gem, that's 1,500 HP. So you're only getting 65 more points of damage reduction. And that only covers physical damage. I would rather have 1,500 flat HP that covers physical and magical. And fall damage. And whatever else sort of damage you might take. Um, so yeah. 
Uh, this is what this is what made me decide physical def or uh, HP and stamina gems are more important than physical defense by f by by a long margin, I think. Especially because the stamina gems give you block and tenacity. So, okay, moving on to I think the next video is the attack video or int and intelligence comparison. So yeah, here I go swap out different gems for intelligence and attack. The interesting thing was like the attack gems. I didn't know attack gems actually increased the heal stat, the healing stat as well. So um, the attack gems did give more, more attack and healing per point over the intelligence gems. And uh, the intelligence gems do give you a little bit of dexterity. So if you're in a, which doesn't, which uh, dexterity reduces the block chance of your target. So as a healer, that's that's pointless. It, it does it does nothing for you basically. Um, as a magic user, that that does magic damage. You probably want to reduce. I'm pretty sure block works against magic damage. So intelligence might be your your choice there because it was only one point. It was only one point difference between a level three intelligence gem and a level three attack gem. So if you want to have that little bit of dexterity, I would go for. I would probably go for the intelligence gems over the attack, but really there's very little difference between the two. Very little difference. I would. And I'm kind of leaning towards attack gems as well because a lot of the skill abilities in the game say they um, do a percentage of your attack. They add a percentage of your attack or take a percentage of your attack stat. And so like, basically, if it takes directly from your attack stat, you want attack because I, I haven't seen anything in the game that says, you know, this takes from your intelligence stat or anything like that. It seems to be mostly everything from your your attack stat. So I would I would stack attack. I'll do a little bit more further testing on that in the future as well. And yeah, that was it. And for blue gems, crit. Like no question, go for crit. I think for tanks, uh, you might want to go for. Uh, I think there are blue gems for tenacity. For tanks, you probably want to go for tenacity, but. Healers, DPSers, crit, no question. Tanks, maybe tenacity. And yeah. That's it. That's gonna do it. Wait, what was I doing in this one? <laughs> okay. Okay. This is a, uh, this is actually the video we're recording right now. <laughs> And <laughs> just started playing the video we're recording, and then we just got like a really crazy, interesting uh, inception effect there. <laughs> All right, <laughs> thanks guys for watching. I uh, hope you learned a little bit from this. I learned. I think I certainly learned a lot. I hope I explained it well enough. Um, yeah, with with uh, work and everything and all this stuff. I'm kind of rushing some of these videos. I probably should take more time on these, but the gist of it, I think I got the gist of it across. If we want to get into further details in the future, I'll try and do that. But for now, I think that covers the basics. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Click all the buttons in the description, and we'll see you next time. GG's.